Everybody, Chris Schaefer coming to you bundled up from the great state of Wisconsin where there's a lot of cheeseheads, a lot of Packers fans, a lot of Badgers, and the reason why we're here, a lot of pike. It's the dead of winter, it's below zero, and we are ice fishing today with big boy fishing here in southern Wisconsin. And we're here because, hey, it's something that everybody does in the winter. There's just nothing else to do. It's cold, you get out, you find your shanty, you put your tip-ups out, and you go pike fishing. We're doing something a little bit different than most though. We're taking fire dye minnows, we're dyeing them before we get to the lake and we're dropping chartreuse, blue, orange, different color shiners down the ice. Why? Because pike are curious creatures. They wanna see something different and when they do, they get in there and they put the chow down on it. We're gonna show you how easy it is for you to do it on your own and we're gonna catch some fish. Think that glows down there? Come on, honey. Oh my god. Oh, Good one? one? Nice fight. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. oh yeah. Which one did that hit? Chartreuse. God, I love it. Oh yeah. Nice pike. Nice pike. Perfect. Alright, let's get him released. Back in the water. Ooh. In that hole, buddy. There we go. Yeah, boy. Alright. Nice. Here. Here go. Can you tell? Oh, nice fish. Nice one. Oh yeah. Nice fish. We're doing a little pike fishing. Um, pretty much we're just fishing southeast Wisconsin. I mean you can do this anywhere the, the methods that we're doing. You know anywhere you have ice even open water too. So all we're doing you know I'm using dive minnows. All my tip ups we have nine tip ups out right now. They're all dive minnows. I would say Six of them are with the chartreuse fire dive. Those are my favorite, you know, that's my number one dive, my, the chartreuse fire dive. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of success, but then I have had a lot of success on red dead bait with shiners, and then the orange and blue with live shiners too. You know, we just caught a nice bass yesterday, you guys will see on the blue shiner. And- uh, We got a flag up, guys. We got a, we got a fish. We actually got a fish yeah. right We'll now. be back. We'll be back. We got a nice pike down here. Oh, big, big pike. Big pike. There we go. Got him. That's a nice one. Perfect. It's not bad for negative five with the windshield. <laughs> not. Take this all day. It was on a chartreuse. It was a chartreuse fire dive. Live minnow. Live minnow. Dying all Perfect. of our minnows in the live. Our truth been the hot ticket today. Another nice one. Number one is uh, I tip up fish with shiners or medium or large shiners. Uh, I used to do just basic shiners, uh, no fire dye. Um, 
until you know I did a little research reading other people's success on them and I started dyeing them in chartreuse blue and orange fire dye and honestly the first day I ever tried it was there's probably about 60 70 people on this lake we fishing in my hometown Racine and I had about two dozen live sh shiners in the fire dye chartreuse that was my first time I ever tried it and after my ninth or tenth tip up I, I kind of got sold and I started trying other colors orange blue they make a pink and a red and even uh you, they don't have to always be alive I do a lot of dead bait uh, red is a real good dead bait for shiners um, pink I've, I've, I've had some success blue blue uh, live minnows orange and the live shiners too but honestly my best color has always been chartreuse that's uh, my number one dye that I like for you can dye them I dye them overnight and they're good in the blue orange and the chartreuse and uh, you know it's something to try it's something different not a lot of those pikes around here on these smaller lakes have seen this I mean not many people here but I've, I've never seen anyone else do it so it's something to try it's something different pike have never seen it you know it's it's almost like you're using a lure in the water I mean that's honestly what it is you know no one's seen it done these pike have never seen it so it's something that kind of gets them aroused I like to actually fish a lot of my minnows up higher you know the chartreuse minnows they're real bright I can see them a mile away if they really, you know, the pike are a real scavenger fish. They're always on, they're always roaming. And what I've noticed is the higher I've had my, my minnows, the more bites I'm having, especially with the chartreuse. It's a real bright minnow. It's real bright in the hole, real bright in the water. And they can see that a mile away. It's, it's nuts because it, it, it glows. It's real vibrant. I mean, you, you can't explain it. I mean, it's, if you look at, how we used to fish when we were kids, and if I knew what I knew now, how many more fish I would catch. You know, on a lot of lakes that now that have a lot of pressure on the lakes with guys, you know. But it, it's just crazy that now I can go to a lake that gets hit every weekend and still catch more fish than most guys out here on dive minnows. What I've learned is you don't want to stress out the minnow, so it's always good to have an aerator. I like to start them in a smaller container with less water so they get dyed. You know, they'll die real quick. And I'll sit them overnight in it and then I'll actually I'll add maybe 60% water and 40% dye which isn't really a lot of dye that's four four to five uh, drops of dye out of the out of the fire dye container and what I like to do I keep the aerator on overnight and I'll actually transfer them into a bigger bucket and then add you know three four cups of water to that but the thing is you have to make sure that the aerator aerated I mean they, they have to have oxygen you know it you don't have many die at all I mean I haven't I, but you, it just you don't want to stress them out Compared to you. Nice fish, buddy. Chartreuse live minnow. Bad one for negative five. Out. Yeah. I'll take it. Definitely take it. Okay, it's a start. Yes, finally. A good one went off. Another one on the chartreuse. There we go. 
It's acting like a pretty good fish. I think you got a nice bite. Ooh, nice bite. Oh yeah. Is it coming up already? Yeah, it's right here at the hole. It's not a bad one though. Oh yeah, on the chartreuse minnow. Yes, sir. Nice pike. Run these minnows up a little higher, brighter colors. I can see these pretty good. Especially the chartreuse blue and the orange have been our hot, hot colors this week. <laughs> All live minnows this week too have been working pretty good. Good fight. On a blue minnow? <laughs> Beautiful. It's a four and a half pounder. <laughs> no way. <laughs> On Beautiful. a blue middle. <laughs> Beautiful. First of the year. Nice. First bass.